Police are looking into whether Long Island serial killer suspect Rex Hewerman has connections to any other murders in other states. One of those states is Nevada, where he owned Timeshare in Las Vegas. Las Vegas police have said that obviously they are investigating whether Hewerman could be connected to any unsolved murders or disappearances in that area. A case that police are likely looking into, though they haven't said so publicly, is the unsolved murder of Lindsay Marie Harris. The 21-year-old went missing from Henderson, Nevada in 2005. A few weeks later, her severed legs were found in Illinois off a highway. A few years later, a suspected serial killer named Neil Falls, who had ties to Las Vegas, was killed in self-defense by a sex worker in her home. When police searched Fall's car, they found what they called a kill kit. Because of Fall's MO for targeting sex workers and his links to Las Vegas, they considered him a suspect in Harris's disappearance. I have researched Neil Falls before because he was operating in some of the same places and during the same times as serial killer Israel Keys. So while Falls is a suspect in Lindsay's disappearance, Hewerman could be a likely candidate as well when you consider where her severed legs were found. Lindsay's legs were found in a town called DeVernon, which is a little bit south of Springfield, Illinois. If Hewerman is responsible for Harris's murder, look at these two routes that he could have taken if he had driven from his timeshare in Las Vegas back to his home on Long Island in Massapequa, New York. The southern route would put him just south of Springfield, Illinois, and that town where Harris's legs were found, DeVernon, Illinois. If traveling the southern route, a pit stop to DeVernon would only be about an hour north. A pit stop along the northern route from Las Vegas to Massapequa would be about two hours south. I'm sure police are already investigating these possible connections between Hewerman and Lindsay Marie Harris's murder. In the meantime, whether Lindsay's murder had something to do with Hewerman, Neil Falls, or another perpetrator, it's a good time to spotlight her case. Emily described Lindsay as a talented artist who was kind to everyone she met. If you have any information that might help solve her murder, please contact the police at 309-693-5015 and let's help Lindsay's family get answers.